Hello everybody, I'm Blazer Rebecca and welcome back to Backstage Pass. Um we arrived just a little early, I guess. But um I don't wanna be rude to him or I don't wanna it's like I don't know if he needs to lecture. It's like I, like I don't think I should be the one lecturing, so like guess shrug it off. <clears throat> guess is, John doesn't know that. He hasn't known you as long as I have. Aaron folds his arms across his chest. I haven't let him down yet. Yeah. Yet. He'll get used to it eventually. Don't worry too much about it. He stands and stretches. Let's not keep John and Mr. Photographer waiting any longer, yeah? Yep. We walk to the main area and greet the photographer. Good of you to join us. Oh, hi. Finally. I thought you'd be a no-show. Yeah. Boy, I'm here already. Yelling isn't going to get me here any sooner. Wow. Um, Adam? I know you said you shouldn't worry about it, but there's no need to throw an attitude about it. I should have lectured him. God damn it. I'm afraid you're definitely late. John casts a sidelong glance at me. You weren't distracted by anything, were you? Excuse me! I was the one who was being in a hurry. He is the one that decided to play it cool. I tightened my job and decided not to take his baited words. Got a little caught up in a game I was playing. Sean had to remind me it was time to go. Thank you. She did? Yes. I had the smirk on my face. <laughs> you didn't assume anything else, did you? Uh, he Not probably really. did. No, you definitely did, you liar. John responds pleasantly, but he avoids making eye contact with me. You so assumed that this was my fault. Ha, take that. That's enough socializing, kids. Palm tree, go stand over there. Palm tree? The photographer points out a white backdrop lit by a row of angled bright lights. Palm tree? You mean... Me? Wow. You're a tall, skinny thing with a bunch of leaves sticking out the top. Of course I mean you. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Adam makes a face, but he complies with the photographer's instructions. Palm tree. As he poses for the camera, his expression takes on a tight, unnatural look. Is he nervous? His whole body looks really stiff. The photographer sighs. Come on, palm tree. Where's that island charm I keep hearing about? Loosen up. I'm trying. Well, trying sure isn't getting you anywhere. I thought Hawaii was all about relaxing. Yeah, and I thought photographers were all about... Well, I don't know, never mind. And I thought being in the big city was all pollution and car accidents. Oh! Oh, oh Adam! Adam! Shit! God dang it, Adam! Oh, shit! Oh my god. <laughs> Burn. Wait, calendar? Okay, never mind. Now that's just a lie. Although we do like to go out and mug each other just for fun. Okay, that's not cool. Even if it's just for fun, not cool. Too bad. We don't invite muggers to all the volcano luau's we have every day. <laughs> what the fuck, Adam? <laughs> As Adam and the photographer snipe at each other with mock insults, Adam's post posture relaxes and he's soon back to his cheerful self. Of course he is! Yeah, roasting the photographer is gonna help! John chuckles. Dale knows how to get a good shot in, photography-wise and other. Dale snaps one after shot after another, timing with each click with Adam's movements. Occasionally he asks for a specific pose, but most of the time he simply engages Adam in light-hearted banter. All right, take a break, get a drink, or do some stretches, or something. Oh, his name is Dale. Okay. Sure thing. Be back in a few. As Adam strolls off, Dale lets out a long and mournful sigh. Poor kid. This industry's going to eat him alive. Th this industry's going to eat everyone alive. He'll learn. We all started out like that. He's got a stubborn streak, John. He'd rather fight back than play the game. Game? Dale and John turned to me surprised. I think they forgot I was here. You guys are fucking idiots then. Dale smiles, ap smiles apolog apologetically. Being in the entertainment industry is cutthroat. Your brother's a little too laid back to keep up an ongoing career. He's not my brother. Oh, we're not related. I'm his makeup artist. Really? Uh, yes. Dale immediately turns to his camera and reviews the photos he just took. Finally, he lets out a low whistle. You're good. Where'd you study? Uh, my mom. 
Um, no, not really. My mom is a professional makeup artist and she trained me from childhood. Yeah, that's why I know so much. Well, you've got <laughs> the hand of a seasoned pro. I'm impressed. Yeah. That's why John told him about, you know, so it's talked about me to Lloyd. Thank you, it's the first time to you to say that. Hey, are you free next Tuesday? I've got a shoot in the morning that needs an artist. Like a makeup artist? Then, uh, I guess I'm your, I'm your girl? Oh, I'm, I guess I can make it. But surely you can hire someone else? Probably not, but... Sean, <laughs> it's not good form to suggest someone else for a job you can do. Excuse me, I was just saying! Why me? I like your work, and you're not a terrible person. Well, th thanks, I guess. He rolls his eyes. And considering the job, I'll need someone I don't hate. That's not a very encouraging thing to hear. It's only half a joke. I'd love to have you on board. I think your style is just what I need for next week's shoot. You know what? He's being nice, but you know what? Well, if you really like my work, I'll be happy to come next week. I don't That's wanna... great. I'll send you the details later. I just didn't want to be rude. Hold on. Calendar. Next Tuesday. I just hope nothing's going on that Tuesday. All right, palm tree. Break's over. Palm tree. <laughs> Adam drags back to the photo area looking a lot less uptight than he did earlier. Dale immediately re revives his snappy banter with Adam and takes taking photos at opportune moments in the discussion. The second half of the session passes even more smoothly than the first. Dale's already built up a good rapport with Adam in such a small amount of time. I've seen photographers at work before, but no one is fast moving or easy to get along with as Dale. It's making me a little nervous about the job next Wednesday. If there's someone out there who can't get along with Dale, I'm a little apprehensive. Well, it's too late to back out now. I just hope it works out. <laughs> you just, she just fell out. Setting. <sighs> Today seems like a good day to go for a jog around campus. I start slowly, enjoying the fresh air and time alone. I turn the corner and see Professor Meridia is carrying a stack of cardboard boxes. She can barely see over the top of the stack, and it's obvious from her carefully placed steps that whatever she's carrying is heavy. <coughs> uh, Professor, let me help you with that. I jog up to her and lift one of the boxes from her arms. Thank you. You look familiar. Are you in one of my classes? Uh, yeah, I'm Sean. I'm in one of your classes. Calculus 1. My name's Sean. Well, thank you very much, Sean. You didn't have to do this. Uh, I hate to have you struggle alone with this. I don't mind. I'm trying to get a little exercise in anyway. Good choice. A lot of first years tend to get caught up in schoolwork or socializing. Yeah, well, not good old Sean here. A good workout <sighs> is crucial for your health, and it helps to keep you from getting too stressed. Oh, Professor Meridian leads me straight through the front door of the school library. She places her box on a nearby table and sigh, reads a sigh of relief. You can leave that there. <clears throat> I hoist the box onto the table next to her. Need anything else? No, that's all I need for now. Okay. What's in all these boxes anyway? Books, study guides, and other materials for the grad student group study. That sounds nice. I don't suppose there's anything like that for us underclassmen? If you're looking for extra help with your studies, there's a freshman tutoring session in the library every Monday night. Ah, oh, thanks! Thanks, I'll check it out! I wave a quick goodbye to Professor Maria and then resume my jog around the campus. Studying. As the bus slows to a stop, I briefly wonder if I'm at the wrong place. Is this really the hotel Benito Ben was talking about? <coughs> It's a lot fancier than I expected. Brilliant light shines from the tall glass windows slicing through the dark night city skyline. I step off the bus and hesitantly walk up to plush red carpet to the front door. Oh, sorry. The thick carpet sinks underneath each of my steps. The doorman raises an eyebrow with a hint of disdain as I approach, but he quickly masks his expression and opens the door for me with a, with a flourish. 
The interior of the hotel is even more luxurious than the outside. The floor has been polished so perfectly that I can see a clear reflection of the crystal chandelier hanging overhead. Up ahead is an open dining area filled with lavishly decorated tables. Sean! Over here! Hey there! Hey, Ben! Benito jogs over to me from the dining hall area. Hold on, give me a second. Sorry. His brick green highlights stand out against the rich red color of the room behind him. Yeah, something about the highlight, the like the way his hair is like dark hair and green highlights reminds me of someone else as well. Someone from real life, not from a game. I hurry over to him, trying hard to ignore the stares I'm getting. Um, Ben, I think we'd imagine that the hotel would look like this. It's more luxurious than I had previously thought, but that might be a good thing. I hope they serve a lot of alcohol here. Um, it, we'll get some handsome tips tonight. Okay, I don't know about the alcohol thing. I don't encourage that. Tips? I wasn't supposed to do. I wasn't supposed to tip the doorman, was I? Ben laughs sympathetically. Only if you ask him to carry that massive makeup case you've got there. Oh. No, not really. Then you're fine. I can show you the side entrance after the show. Might save you a little bit of trouble next time. He tilts his head to the side thoughtfully. If there is a next time. Man, I hope there's a next time. These trial runs are a killer on the nerves. He takes a deep breath and exhales slowly. Well, it's no use stalling. Let's get going. He leads me through the dining room, and I see a stage at the far end of the room with a thick curtain pulled close. He's not going to be performing he there, is he? As we near the stage, he takes a sharp turn and leads me behind a small curtain near the stage. The area behind the curtain is sparsely decorated. Ben reads my expression immediately. Yeah, not so impressive back here, huh? It's a world better than some, some I've done. One of Adam's first show was in a bar with so much cigarette smoke I could barely see him. I place my makeup kit in one of the chairs and open it. The box folds out to reveal the layers of shells nestled inside. Each shelf reveals another collection of makeup in a range of hues. Whoa, that's a lot. Well, make yeah, makeup artist, did you forget? Of course it is. Makeup isn't one size fits all, you know. Well, I understood it intuitively, <clears throat> but actual experience is a different matter. <laughs> oh, not what you expected, huh? Ben seats himself on a nearby chair. But you're the master here. I'm counting on you. <laughs> sure, no pressure or anything. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, no fucking pressure. I saw him begin rummaging through the foundation, looking for a shade to match his skin. Not too much. I'm trying to play up the innocent youth angle here. You? <laughs> innocent? Who'd believe that? Ben stares at me with dofully with large shimmering eyes. His lips, his lips part slightly and he exhales with a gentle whimper. Oh god damn it! You think I'm a monster? Whoa! Hold on! I did not say that! I did not say that! <clears throat> his voice wavers as he's as if he's trying to hold back here. Ben, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Play along, pretend to comfort him. Go with him to say yes, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna go with this one. Play along, pretend to comfort him. Aw, uh -uh, poor baby. Of course you're not a monster. <laughs> I placid him with an overly sweet tone. I hold him up a ball. I hold up a ball of foundation. Now, if you can be good, <laughs> this child will give you a piece of candy. What? That's not what I expected. Ben claps his hands and cheers. What is this? Yay, candy! Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Is that one you item in my inventory worth it? <laughs> okay, that's a little too weird. <laughs> His features immediately fair to his useful, thoughtful expression. Yeah, I guess I'm past that shtick. Although, I am definitely not past liking candy. Ah, uh, no, yeah, you're never too old for candy. I used to, but it's coming a little too sweet for me these days. Dark chocolate is more my speed. Ugh, dark chocolate. Ugh. I, I have nothing against it, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna end this part here, and I'll be back with more. See ya!